Hi everyone, welcome back to Camping Begins. Um, I've never actually bought one of these before, but it was time for my old uh, saw to go and we've got the new caravan project. So I needed to really get a, a cordless circular saw. Uh, I didn't want to spend a fortune. You know I'm invested in this DeWalt brand. So this is the uh, DeWalt DCS 565 M1 XE combo kit. So it actually does it's the circular saw and it comes with a battery and charger again. Um, let's get it out and I'll show you what it looks like. So again, I like this from DeWalt, no, no polystyrene, it's all a cardboard box. Instructions in there, not too many. Oh, gee. Pack of instructions in there, cardboard box. Um, we've got your standard charger again. This this comes with all the uh, combo kits that I can find. We've got another four amp hour battery. Clicks in there. Don't forget these uh, batteries have a a display on them there's one bar in it so it's really there's not much charge in it um, this is you this is a guide comes with a guide and then let's try and get this open oh it's quite big oh look at that we've got the, the saw there I'm gonna get that out safely oh pretty easy Okay then, so uh, a bit about this then. Um, this is 165 mil or a 6.5 inch uh, diameter, I think. Comes with a 24 tooth, so it, it it'll be it won't be a rough cut, uh, but it also won't be neatest cut in the world. But anyway, that's uh, it'll be quite good. Um, allegedly, this weighs 2.4 kilos, skin only. Now whether that's with that and this, I don't know. But if I compare that to my old, this is my old skill saw. This thing is literally so old. Uh, I got a blade on it last year, but it's just, I can't get the right bore. So um, yeah, I mean, this is probably about, I'd say this is heavier. Oh, let's put the battery on, I wonder what. Oh, they're about the same. It's a lot of a bigger unit though, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's my old skill saw. I'm going to take that off. I suppose now I need to uh, I need to put the blade on, don't I? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll grab the camera. I'll get a bit closer, and then we can see. Let's fit this blade off. Okay. So I've just had a bit of a browse through the instruction book, um, just to work out. If I needed any tools for doing this, and it says it comes with a hex key, I've looked all over. Look, I'm not really understand. I thought it was this at first, but I don't think it. That I don't know what that is. Um, I'll have to look into that more. But I did find the hex key. Turn it round, and it's just hidden there. Look at that. So I think that's all we actually need to fit the blade. Um, let's take that. Let's get that out. Put that to one side. Let's see if we can get this blade fitted. Um, they usually go a certain way, don't they? And we've got, look, we've got an arrow going that way and we've got an arrow going that way. So I think we'll fit it with the DeWalt logo uh, out for a start. Let's see. Does that fit that? And if so, how do I physically get it out without sort of... Is there a lock? Can I lock it or anything? This is just basically going to be me looking stupid, isn't it? Let's try and get. Is there a lock at all? Oh, oh, I found it. Look, here we go. There's a little push down there. So we push that down. Now this is locked. This is great. Let's undo this. Now it's probably a reverse thread because of the way it spins, so it doesn't unthread itself as you saw 
Oh. That's the nut. Now that's the plate that sits on here. Um, another thing to just mention, this is, I don't know if I said it earlier, but this, you see where it says 20 millimeter? This is a 20 millimeter bore, which is basically the size of this hole here. Um, you get 16 mils or 25, all different sizes. So you just gotta make sure that when you buy a blade, you buy the one with the correct bore. Let's see if I can get this on. Oh, that was simple enough. That sits in there really actually quite tight. Put this on. And let's put this in. Oh, again, that's weird. It spins backwards when you tighten in it. Let's see. It's difficult doing this, trying to show you guys. Okay, so now it's spinning. Let's push this lock in. And then use a bit of leverage to tighten this up. There you go. I think that's fitted. Okay, I'm gonna put this back. That's a nice handy place for it actually. I'll, let's see how long it lasts there. Um, now then, obviously it comes with a guide as well. I believe you can put this guide in from any side. Yeah, probably. I can probably put it in this way as well. And then there's just literally a screw here that tightens it up. So there's measurements on it as well. How accurate they are, I don't know. I usually would probably measure it. I'm going to take that out for now because I don't need it. What else have we got? This is this is going to control your angle. Now then. Oh, there it goes. Just needs a bit of... Uh, and that will... That changes the, this, the level. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's it. So it just needs a little... It's brand new, so it just needs a bit of... You can actually see so you can saw it at a, at a different pitch. Let's put it back to zero. Get the battery clicked on. Now, also, I'm told this comes with an LED. Uh, actually, I don't know if you can see that LED, but it actually is shining in there. It's probably quite difficult to see. Yeah, you can see it. That's the LED there. Uh, so, here we go. This is... It's got a, a push-down trigger here. You kind of got to hold it here for a bit of stability. Actually feels quite easy. So I'm going to push this down and pull this trigger here. Push down, pull this. Hold. Ah. So you don't need to hold this. That's just to, to, to set it going like a dead man's switch. Very good. Um, look, I'm impressed with that. Okay, so that was a bit of a close look. Um, I'm just probably going to tell you, I got this from Sydney Tools this week. I had a bit of a look around for, you know, what I can get for a good price. This was, the, like I said, this was the combo kit. So it came with the battery, came with the charger. I've now got three chargers and I've got four batteries. So for me, I think, I think that's enough batteries done. I'll probably just get skins next time. Um, what else was I going to tell you? Oh, so they're normally $300. They say they're normally $300. I reckon you can probably get these on sale most places for about $250, $249. Um, you can buy the skin only for $189. But for me, I did want another battery. And these batteries for retail are $180. Um, essentially, I paid $60 more and got an extra battery and an extra charger. So that's it. Um, if you have any comments or any questions, put them in the comments uh, section and I'll reply if I can. Um, do me a big favour, like, subscribe, press that button. That'll, uh, that'll be great. Thanks guys, see you next time.